Hey, hi, everyone. I'm here to talk about Alpha. Okay, uh, where's the slide? Okay, uh, this is Alpha 12, my last Alpha group. So the next one is Alpha 13. Actually, I, I was in Alpha number 4, so time goes by very fast. It's Alpha 30, it's supposed to be like Alpha 16 or 17 uh, due to COVID. So we couldn't do a few Alpha. So I, I'd like to share about my experience. Okay, when I first came to KLC, actually uh, a bit blur, lah. you know, about Christian life, you know, and all that. Uh, so I came, uh, and Pastor Al say, uh, Zach, join, go and join Alpha. Lah. Maybe you, 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 know, you get to learn more basic things about Christianity. You know, that's where, that's where I, I joined Alpha. And uh, I start to know, uh, why did Jesus die? You know, why, why did Jesus have to suffer, you know, and uh, die for us? You know, so, so, so that's where I learned a lot. And then my faith grow, you know, from there. And then, of course, uh, we have this uh, mentorship with Michael, you know, you know. And then the faith grow even stronger. See, I get to understand deeper in Christianity. So, as our brother Solomon just now shared earlier about the seven daily sin, you know, it just uh, it reminds me back again, right? You know, it's like... Uh, uh, my past life, you know, you, uh, about this world, you know, this worldly world that I'm in. You know, seven daily sin is very common. You know, pride, envy, you know, uh, there's a lot of things in this world. Uh, you know, I'm glad that God uh, brought me here to, to learn more about Him and to know God, which is the most important thing. Uh, so, uh, Alpha is really a good platform uh, for for everyone, for new believers, or for uh, even believers like us, you know, we can, we can learn more. Uh, a good way to, to bring new believers into the church. So, I, I, I like to encourage everyone, you know, if together we can send out 99 invites, if one came to believe in God, you know, in the heaven will rejoice, even if it's only one. So, we have to work together for this. Uh, later, uh, a sister Pearl will come and uh, share uh, a testimony. But before that, I want to share this. Uh, in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 2, you know, there's these four friends who bring uh, a, a paralyzed uh, friend, right? You know the story, right? Then they climb up to the roof, you know, and they open part of the roof, and then they lay this uh, paralyzed man to Jesus, you know, and Jesus said, Son, your sins are forgiven. You know, because Jesus saw the faith of these friends and Jesus forgave this paralyzed man and healed him. So, I'm just opening up this for, for testimony for Pearl. Because my group, this you see, Edmund uh, is a non-believer, but the rest of them is actually believers. So they stay through the Alpha just for Edmund. Every, every single week they will... Faithfully, they will attend Alpha, you know, and then uh, we will come with Edmund, you know, to encourage him. And so, uh, let's invite Pearl. Yeah, welcome, Pearl. Welcome. Give you. Okay, well, good morning, brothers and sisters. Um, I'm actually from Jurong Christian Church. And uh, actually, Zach shared most of what I wanted to share. So, uh, you may wonder why, uh, since I'm a Christian, why did I sign up for Alpha? And Alpha last year was actually my first Alpha. So, the story is mainly about Edmund. Uh, Edmund actually came to JCC August last year. He just came to visit once and met my cell member. And then he came to our cell group in September. So I got to meet him at my cell group and realized actually uh, he's a non-believer uh, and he's someone in striped shirt. And, but he has been visiting a Redemption Hill Church with two of his friends, which is the two person next to him. So when we were chatting, um, he was actually trying to understand what Christianity is about. And so I said, why don't you try Alpha? You know, although I haven't attended Alpha before. So he said, yeah, yeah, I you know, actually Googled and saw that Jurong Christian Church has Alpha listed, but we weren't conducting. So when I wanted to talk to him more, cell group started, you know, the conversation ended. And 
we couldn't continue because he rushed off after cell group ended. Uh, but the conversation never left my head. You know, it kind of got stuck there. And I could have done nothing about it because uh, he generally has friends in Redemption Hill Church. I presume they would take care of him. Uh, but my spirit couldn't just move on. So I googled for Alpha Singapore online. And the first one that came up was actually Queenstown Lutheran Church. And they were starting in 10 days. That was 15 September. So I sent a link to Edmund and I said, well, no, one is starting in 10 days. If you are interested to attend, uh, I'll be very happy to join you. And the only reason why I actually offered my company is because I thought he might be awkward alone coming to a church he doesn't know, people he doesn't know. Uh, but 24 hours later, he actually texted me and said, you know, uh, I'm going to sign up. And if you want, you can join me. And that's how this Alpha journey uh, began. Uh, but as you would have known by now, Edmund didn't turn up alone. He had two friends that came with him. Uh, Magdalene and Adaro are second generation Christians. Uh, and even though they've been like living the faith throughout their 20 over years, Alpha actually provided them a platform to ask questions and share about the faith that maybe they didn't get to growing up in church. Uh, and through the sharings of the rest of the six of us who are Christians in the, in the Alpha group, you know, it actually helped us to minister to one another, edify one another. So it was a very encouraging sight. Uh, but the most encouraging thing was when Edmund chose to receive Jesus uh, during the weekend away sessions. So this was maybe about 10 sessions or 8 sessions into the whole Alpha course. So it is very encouraging because in all my conversations with Edmund, right, he was trying very hard to find the logic in Jesus, trying to find the logic in the faith. You know, but the day that he made the decision to receive Jesus, uh, he has still held on to the decision and the three of them are still attending Redemption Hill Church together now. So I often look back and wonder if I didn't respond to the nudge that day, right? Would things have remained the same? You know, would things have been any different whether I chose to text Edmund and tell him QLC is having an alpha in 10 days' time? Uh, I don't know, but I would like to share a story with you all as I end the sharing. So some of the older ones may remember in the 90s, we have this thing called the Pass It On Cards. It's like small little Christian cards where you give up to people. And one of it was the story of the starfish. You know, an old man was taking a walk on the beach, you know, and he saw this little boy, you know, picking things up and throwing it back to the ocean. So he walked over and asked the boy, what are you doing? So the boy said, I am throwing the starfish back into the ocean. Otherwise, they will die when the tide goes out. The old man laughed and said, the beach is so long, it's miles and miles long, and there are thousands and thousands of starfish. What difference does it make if you just pick up one and throw? And the boy kept quiet, smiled, bent down, and picked up another starfish, threw it back to the ocean, and said, it made a difference for that one. So as I end the question, I leave with the members of PLC is, do you have a starfish in your life today that you could pick up and make a difference? Thank you. Thank you, uh, Paul, for the sharing. Uh, so, uh, Alpha will be every Wednesday, 7.30 to 9.30. Uh, it's a hybrid Alpha, so you'll be online and on-site. So, uh, my previous group was on-site, so uh, the most of the group are online. So, uh, you can opt for this option. So, uh, before we, we, we leave later on, uh, there's a flyers outside there. Uh, this one. You can share with your friends, your relatives. Okay, thank you.